On today's Windows Wednesday, we talk about Microsoft's latest attempt to keep you on edge when you want to change to a better browser. Thanks for checking out this video by Switch to Linux. If you like this content, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Leave us a like and a comment down below. And today we're going to talk about those browser wars. Of course, many computers have a browser pre-installed on them. In fact, in some computer systems, if it doesn't have a browser pre-installed, you would have a hard time getting one on there. I guess that is kind of changing with app stores and things, but like take Linux, if they don't install a web browser, you just got to boot up a terminal and install one with your package manager. Not a really big deal. Some Linux distributions provide a an option to decide which browser you want installed on default. Some of them are, many of them are still staying with Firefox, although Firefox is starting to become a little bit of a, a liability in some instances. So uh, some distributions, I believe Zorin's new edition comes with Brave Browser. So there are a lot of other options you have. But uh, many people do stick with the default browser. However, that trend is not as popular as it used to be since we know that the number one browser people use is still Google Chrome. And uh, I, other than Chromebooks, nothing comes with that pre-installed to my knowledge. I don't know. Maybe they are these days. But of course, we've all seen the meme, you know, uh, this was back in the Internet Explorer days. But the most used Internet browser to download a better browser. Well, this has been a problem in the past because Microsoft always wants you to stay on their options rather than going with another solution. And uh, they are testing some new browser pop-ups. So think about this, uh, Windows users out there. You are sitting there on your computer. It comes pre-installed with a browser you're not a fan of. So you load up that browser to download a better browser. Um, or in this case, I don't know, you download an equally bad browser if you're going for Chrome. But anyway, let's just proceed with the meme. You download a better browser of Google Chrome and instead of it just going, Hey, download Google Chrome. Okay. This is what you've instructed me to do. I will hereby download Google Chrome. Now the operating system is going to give you a random pop-up that says, Hey, you don't want to be doing this. Just stick with Edge. It is so much better. It is so much more private. It is so much more secure. Um, and uh, yes, if you had uh, three points of hysterical laughing, <laughs> yeah. Some people do say Edge is faster than Chrome. I don't know. I'm not a regular user of either of those. Privacy? <laughs> You're asking two people in glass houses taking showers, staring at each other, going, you should cover yourself. You know, it's, I don't know. Stuff's hanging out in both of these systems. Neither one of these is private. Security? I, I don't trust Microsoft's security. Uh, Google, I would trust their security more than Microsoft. We'll, we'll put it this way. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I will trust their security a little bit more than I would Microsoft's as far as uh, boiling them down. But here's the thing. Think about this. What is malware? Malware is something on a computer that does something that is either malicious or steers you in a direction you wouldn't otherwise go. Effectively, either... Edge or Windows, whichever one is the source of this pop-up, is behaving like malware if you say, I want to go here and download this, and the thing wants to stop you from downloading it. That is malware. So Windows has malware pre-installed on it uh, in the form of a device uh, of a security or a warning pop-up. In fact, this is not much different than browsing to a website and getting a big old page alert. Your computer is infected with a virus. Click here uh, to get help from Microsoft. You click here and, you know, Abu Jafar calls you up. Hello, this is Microsoft support. How may I help you? You know, and then you are in a world of trouble because you've listened to some stupid random pop-up that appeared. Well, now we're asking, we have to decipher which pop-ups are legitimate and which ones are not because Microsoft is now giving you more pop-ups when you are trying to just change to a different web browser, and that should not be the case. So having a look at uh, Slash Gear here, company's latest attempt to keep up from ditching Edge, which is the default browser in Windows 11, in favor of Chrome to emphasize Edge's advantage over Chrome, uh, painted as a superior option to Google's widely adopted alternative. So you're now served a series of pop-ups urging you to rethink your decision. And uh, their focus on their new uh, their new focus group tests is mainly private browsing 
password monitoring, and enhanced protection against online threats. And I will point out that all of those are things that Google alleges that Chrome does. So which one of these has a, you know, what do we mean by private browsing? Neither one of them has private browsing. Both of them has a private browsing. Private browsing, again, does not stop your data going from the company on either of these companies. It only stops the people from having access to that same computer user account from seeing what you have locally browsed. That is the purpose of incognito mode. Of course, I use it in ways to test, you know, how our cookie implementations work. How does a site behave if you're not logged in? There's other uses of incognito other than trying to be private uh, because it effectively is a new session browser while the old session remains open. That's an important thing. Password monitoring. Uh, Google's been doing this for a long time. It's not like something, wow, my Microsoft can monitor my passwords. Uh, have you been living under a rock? Google alleges to do that as well. And enhance protection against online threats. Uh, again, <laughs> Google has been doing that for a long time. Neither one of them are absolutely amazing at it. So even though Chrome is considered the default web browser to many, there's nothing wrong with it uh, as, there are, uh, as there are merits to other browsers. Of course, I wouldn't use either of these browsers for any mainstream stuff. Hey, I, call me crazy. I still use Firefox for now, at least until they in inherently shove AI so far down my throat. I feel like, like Will with that tentacly thing at the beginning of that uh, un liked stranger seasons five you know when when ai's feeling like that will officially jump it for something else um but uh the fact of the matter is as long as i still have general control over firefox with the settings i'll keep using that uh, until tentacliness happens then uh, we'll go with something else uh so going behind the two heavy hitters are uh chrome and edge the one finds uh, the other strong options like the brave browser of course there's the brave browser so i did a video not too long ago looking at alternatives to firefox brave is an option uh you'd have zen browsers there vivaldi uh waterfox people are pointing to um i asterisked on that one check out the other video for info on that uh, but the thing is is that um when we're looking at it if i want to go and use my browser to download a different browser the operating system should not be stopping me from doing that. And that is what Microsoft is right now trying to do. And so let's have a look at what these pop-ups are. So from Windows Report was the only place I actually saw these actual pictures. So you go to uh, google.com on, on here and... Um, uh, go and get the Chrome browser, and then you get this pop-up notification over here. Protect your privacy and security with Microsoft Edge. Enjoy private browsing, password monitoring, and advanced threat defense all in one browser. Browse securely now. Uh, Google Chrome does all that? Okay. Here's, of course, Microsoft's online safety. If you happen to click that more info button, this is where this one goes. Uh, stay safe and private on the web. Microsoft Edge has built-in security. You know, it's all the same stuff they just said, uh, which is utter nonsense. Uh, and so um, here is uh, one of the tests they're doing. Stay fast with Microsoft Edge, the browser that saves memory, helps extend battery life, and starts up quickly. Okay. It's like reading those labels on like scam nutrition stuff makes you feel good in the morning. You know, it's like, okay, got it. All right. Stay connected wherever you go. Microsoft Edge syncs your tabs across devices and delivers smooth browsing with AI tools at your finger pin, uh, fingertips. There you go. Um, Shop smarter with Microsoft Edge, which helps you find the best prices online and saves money and time. Oh, by the way, that was a feature that it had that they're slowly, silently changing, uh, according to the reports after what Honey's doing. Apparently, Edge was doing the same thing Honey does. It sees your shopping and <laughs> inserts its affiliate code on things. Uh, that was in uh, Megalag's uh, latest report. If you didn't watch that one, that was an excellent uh, video there on Honey. So there you go. If uh, you want to use your computer and have control over it you should definitely be using something like linux instead you know you go to linux and uh if it's got firefox pre-installed which many of them do and you go to firefox eh, i don't like firefox let's go to google chrome how do i do that on linux you, 
Linux, neither Linux nor Firefox is going to stop you from installing something else. Okay. They're not going to give you pop up warnings like, oh, don't do that. Stick with the browser we have given you. It's far better. Uh, no, I kind of want to use the browser I want to use, you know. Uh, for me, I, like I said, I actually, I actually install uh, four or five web browsers on each computer, and each one gets used for very, very different things. So, um, you know, there's validity. So there's reasons you might have Edge installed and still want to install Chrome anyway. And Microsoft is just effectively putting pushing malware in the means that it stops you from uh, it's going to stop you from doing what you want to do with your computer. And that would be a core definition of malware. So uh, get malware off your computer, wipe that thing and install Linux. There's my thought for today. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.